Uh, I'm so sorry, hyena. I thought you were a rabbit. I didn't want to miss the opportunity. Ugh. Aren't you afraid of me? I'm a hyena, and you're a lion. You're supposed to hate me, not try and make conversation with me. I... Oh, sorry. I take it back, I guess? <sighs> Whatever. I'm definitely not a threatening one. At all. Hey, I didn't get your name. I'm Chaya. I'm Jua. My uncle chose that name because it means sun, or light, or whatever. But it's nice to meet you. At least your name is easy to say. My pack is full of weird names. The most confusing has to be my grandmother's name. Afajari? Afajiri? I like you. You're not one of those territorial types of lions. Well, in fact, this isn't my territory. We're in the herd territories. I obviously know that. We're actually closer to the Star Seekers border than being more in the herd fields. What are Star Seekers? Your pride never told you about them? You guys literally had a war with them ages ago. That's crazy. Tell me more about them. Well, here's what I overheard from my pack. The Star Seekers are wild dogs who have their own ways of life, their own beliefs, and their own god. Of course, it was the stars. They were more religious about it back when they fought the quartz part. I think it was some sort of dispute over territory. Since my pack took their entire land in a battle, they had no place to go. They tried to shelter in many unclaimed lands, but most of them were unsuitable or full of beings dying from hunger to snatch up their young. They had so much hope, though, and gained knowledge of certain survival and battle strategies. They returned to their original territory and fought my pack, defeating our last leader before my mother. Finally, them and my pack would make a deal on the land to split it partially. Your mother is a leader? Well, not a very good- My uncle is a leader too! He told me I am going to be the leader next, when I'm older. Yeah, well- That means you're going to be a leader too when you're older. Well, no. That's not how it works for us. Oh. Well, what are you going to be then? I don't know. I just know I'm not strong enough to even be a spy in the pack when I'm older. Well, I believe you'll be something way better than the jerks who made you believe that. I'm sorry about dragging you by your hair tuft. Well, I was having a great nap until then, but I think it's worth being woken up by someone who does look forward to talking to me. Friends? Friends. Hey, Chaya. Long day out in the fields, I'm guessing. You can say that. It was different. And what happened? I made a friend. That's all. That's great, Chaya. Uh, look, we've been meaning to tell you something. Uh, 
we, uh, we, we can't, I, never mind, Chaya, come and hang out with us tonight, it's a little chilly outside. Good night. Have a message and finally those rats beasts have finally spoken. Such cowards. I yeah, and I have a complaint. Of course from... those lions would complain. All they do is cry over everything. They have a whole paradise to themselves. They just can't have enough. Yes, leader, I agree. But about that What possible information do you have? I already know what I want to hear. It's from my team. We're having difficulties. We had a major accident back there. One of our members was injured. I... I don't care. It isn't my problem that you all failed to do your job. To be stealthy. It is what your peers taught you to do. My mother was killed, Hashira. You have to give breaks. Certain shifts. We're there for most of our time. We're almost never here unless we're back reporting to you. We are always at the risk of being beneath the claws of a court pride member. Don't you talk to me with such ignorance. I am your leader. It's your fault that you all were born so weak to go to battle. Your mother is dead because she was born weak. And you'll probably be next if you don't leave. What you just brought to me was worthless information. Get out of my sight! So that's it, huh? Half of the pack is weak and is forced to practically live in the court's pride's borders? It's not just that. I dislike seeing useless, pathetic weakness below me. What about your litter? Your children. Didn't you spawn a useless, pathetic weakness? You heard me. What are you going to do about your own daughter? <laughs> what you speak of is nonsense. Now tell me, what kind of message does Quartz Pride? Have for us, fellow spy. I, I. What did they say? They, they told us that. They told us that any further situations dealing with us in their territory would result in huge consequences, like war, possibly. War, they say. <laughs> if they want blood, we'll give them blood then. <laughs> Hello, little prince. Hey, Jeraha. What seems to be the matter? Oh, nothing at all. Just a long day, trying to catch butterflies. No luck. You are staying close to the borders, right? Uh, yeah, I... I was around, near the borders. Nowhere else, really. That's good. The last thing I need is hearing about you being stomped on by elephants somewhere out there. Yeah, I'd hate to get flattened too. Why? 
do we hate the hyenas? Well, I don't really have a complete answer to that. But you know why we do, don't you? You don't really tell me anything about that. That's because you're a cub. Most parts of that answer is... is not suited for you right now. Well, I'm suited for that. I'm getting older. It's not like a little bit of violence is going to traumatize me. I know they fought us before. It is not what you think, Julia. In a way, I can put it. They did many horrendous things. Unforgivable to their kind. All I can say is that they changed our lives forever. I... I still don't understand. I feel like it's just that pack. Not all of the hyenas entirely. You are right, Julia. But it is hard to trust any of them because of their tricks. They want things from us, and they're doing everything to get it, Julia. You are a good cub, Julia. I just want you to know that. You have so many questions, so much concern, even for the enemies. That will make you a proud and clever king.